What's up, Cuyos? We can get into a little category of whiskey that I don't normally get into a whole lot. Um, I, we got a few ryes in the collection, but rye whiskey kind of has that dill note. You get the spices, but it, it's it's more like dill note forward. You're getting like cut green grass. It's more spicier whiskey. Uh, a lot of people love them. Um, I like the more corn heavy rye or something that's not so dill or licorice flavor to it. Because uh, I usually get that on most ryes. But uh, we got this one today. It's a Sagamore Spirit Rye. Um, this one's come out of Baltimore, Maryland, but it's a New Orleans Barrel Fest pick um, from last year, 2022. So we're going to check that out today. Uh, that's what we got on the channel, guys. Check it out. What's up, y'all? Rye Whiskey. Sagamore Spirit Rye Whiskey in particular. So, it's, uh, we don't do, I don't do a whole lot of ryes. I know uh, Ryan likes rye, his wife loves rye whiskey. John's a big rye guy. Personally, uh, it's never been my cup of tea. I'm more of a scotch guy, I like bourbon, but this one actually, I don't know, struck a nerve. It, it, it's really good whiskey. So, um, this is a New Orleans Barrel, for, uh, Barrel Fest pick. It's uh, it's called Go Rigers. It's written on the bottom, you know, you get the little rye content or whatever. But being that LSU was uh, going to Omaha for the College World Series, we're gonna do it in an LSU glass and hit the Go Rigers pick. It was a perfect time to do that. So um, this one comes in at 110 proof. It's a six year rye and that's a good, you know, for, for a rye whiskey, it's a pretty good age on it. This is a barrel 153 coming from floor six, rack one. Uh, so looking on it, it says on the back that it's uh, it's distilled in Indiana. So it's MGP whiskey, MGP rye, and then they take it over to Baltimore, Maryland to, uh, to age it over there. Um, so let's get into it, guys. Um, there, there's plenty of... Um, Indiana Rise that I've had that I liked. Pikesville's good. Um, that's a Heaven Hill product. Uh, there's a lot of barrel rye. Uh, we've had we've had quite a few rise, like just not review wise, but just on the channel, just in the collection. Um, Castle and Keys Restoration Rye. Um, one of my favorites is probably because it's more corn heavy. Is that E H Taylor Straight Rye from uh, Buffalo Trace, but. We got a lot of rides we've tried. Uh, this one, really nice color on it. It's um, kind of a rich, almost like a reddish tint to it, actually. Uh, let's get into the nose, guys. So very aromatic, like on the nose. It's It's got some herbal notes in it. Very citrus, almost like a candied citrus. It's got some sweetness to it. A little hit of chocolate. Proof kind of comes out on it, but I think it's because it's um, being a rye with those spice forward whiskeys. Proof kind of pops on it. It's not bad though. Uh, really dense kind of smell to it. Definitely some citrus though. It was a little sandalwood. You do get the oak on it and that woody kind of note to it, but it's more like a sandalwood. It's very like aromatic. It's a great, great nose on it. All right. Shit. Let's get into the taste, guys. Damn. So, right when you, you get a lot of sweetness, right when you taste it, but it's not like uh, nowhere near like uh, that uh, Angel's Envy rye, like that's a uh, rum finish. This one's. It almost tastes like it would be sherry cast finish because it's got like a uh, plum sweetness to it. Um, I get that as a fruit, like that plum note to it, but it's really orange. Um, 
citrus, like a lemon lime kind of uh, sweetness to it. So the dill notes there, very, just a hit of it though. Just a very little hint of it to where it's not like forward. It's not like straight dill. Um, but you can taste that it's a rye. Um, Everbestant kind of eucalyptus uh, minty note to it with that uh, with the proof of uh, 55%. Uh, it's not high, but you get a little minty eucalyptus note to it. Um, coming like off the uh, off the end of it actually. Definitely citrus though, orange, like lemon lime citrus, a eucalyptus minty note. Definitely a plum right off the top with that, that red fruit kind of taste to it. You get the oak on the back end with a lot of spice. Uh, almost like a clove spice. You get a lot of spices though. It's it's very uh, like herbal spice that you would get from it. It's good though. Really dense, rich flavor for it only being like 110 proof. You would think it'd be a higher proof to it. That proof carries on the finish. You get, you get that Kentucky burn that you would get with some with some whiskeys, but it's good stuff. I don't know if they'll ever um, distill their own whiskey at some point over in Maryland, but um, the MGP whiskey is killing it with what they're doing with it. It's it's good. So he's coming in about. Uh, I think I got this one. It was either sixty or sixty-five uh, from Canada's in Homa. Uh, Great pick though. Like I'm not a rye person, and like for me not being somebody who typically likes rye, this this is probably one of my favorite my favorite ryes I've ever had. To be honest with you, um, I don't get the urge every once in a while. I mean we've uh, we've drank I've drank a good bit of that stuff. I mean Ryan's had some. He's he he really liked it. Whenever I went to uh, Louisiana and made a trip, I brought that one with me. So. Uh, we kind of sampled it here and there, but um, whenever I feel the urge to want to drink a rye, that's that's what I'm going to. That to me, it's Taylor Straight Rye. I don't know the mash bill on it, uh, but like I said, I usually let, like kind of lean more on the corn heavy mash bills for rye, just because it has a little bit more sweetness, a little less dill. There is a little licorice note on this, and like I said, a little bit of dill, but it's not overpowering like most rye. like a like bullet rye, it's a, I think it's 100% or like a 95% rye. It might be 100% rye. You're getting all of that dill note. You're getting all of that spice, green cut, fresh grass. It's really green and almost youthful, I guess, but th this one's good. I find most ryes that I like uh, are finished with something like uh, sherry or cognac where you're getting some more like, maybe like a little winey note, a little fruity note with it. I don't even know if this one's finished. It doesn't say it's finished in anything, but it's good. It almost tastes like it would be a sherry finish rye, though. Go Rigers. They did a good job on that one with the uh, New Orleans Barrel Fest pick. But that's about it for that review, guys. Uh, so whiskey, the Couillon rating on it, 7.50. Uh, 7.5. Like, honestly, like 7.5 is good for that for that one because I'm not even a rye person. I love this whiskey. It's really good. Uh, I would I would have bought another bottle. Actually, I, before I left, I wanted to pick up another one, but there was none left when the last time I looked at it. So that's one of those things. It's a pick. Um, I'm sure they do another one next year. So and it may be even better. So uh, going off of that, um, see you guys in the next video. Like and subscribe if you like what we're doing, and uh, see you guys in the next video.